Hello everyone again. I'm going to show you what's behind this door that we just picked up. Ta-da! Okay. So, what this is is a 1968 Ford Fairlane Fastback. We grabbed this uh, we're contacted, I should say, by the estate of the original owner who passed away. And we talked to him over a couple months and we just picked it up from him yesterday. Um, 1968, one owner, Fairlane 500 Fastback. Nice thing, the body is actually pretty straight on it. For what you see here it does have some of that patina this vehicle has sat in the guy's backyard under car covers since 1993 uh, it is a factory 390 fe motor we have not tried firing it or doing any of that yet um, we changed the oil in it we're gonna put uh, pull the spark plugs stick a little marble mystery oil down in the cylinders probably we have to pull the valve covers because it's really tight down in there to try and get your spark plugs out on these fair lanes with big blocks in them I'll close the hood. We do have the factory air cleaner. Oh, it's right here on the floor. Down there. So, uh, overall, pretty straight. Now, there's some issues in the paint. I'm not saying there's not, but I kind of like... I don't know what happened here. It's almost like... But you see the metal underneath is actually pretty solid. It's just like he spilt some brake fluid or something on it. And it ate it off. And then up here, the roof is kind of that. It's what happens when car covers sit on cars for years and they don't get a chance to breathe. A couple little scrapes and dings. Had these older style mag wheels on it. Um, another cool thing besides the 390 is she is a factory. I'll turn my light on so we can see a little better. Uh, factory bucket seat car, which I did a little bit of research on them on only like 3,600, 3,800 and some odd of these cars came with bucket seats. And it's also a factory four speed car. The dash is really nice. I mean, it's got some, not, it's not cracked meaning. Uh, original door panels, also power windows. Uh, we hooked a battery up to it. The power windows work, the radio works, the blower motor works. Um, some of the idiots lights came on the dash, like the cold light. Showing 52,000 on the odometer. It's probably 152,000, but you never know. Um, we haven't vacuumed the carpet yet. I did lightly scrub the seats just so when you uh, dome light works. How about this? It's got an old school radar detector up here. It's a Centurion Radar Corporation that the owner put in. That's kind of neat. The glass is pretty good. He put also this aftermarket, I believe, rear window defrogger in it. It does have the rear window defogger down there. I mean, around the back window is pretty good little thing here. But I guess they said, I don't have the keys to show you the trunk. The trunk is really nice. I'll show you that in another video. Um, they said they had to pull about 20 car covers off of it when they found it or when they went to unveil it. 
Uh, he did leave the windows cracked a little, so it wasn't really super moisture or moldy in here. Like it got a chance to breathe a little. There's still cobwebs back there. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of registrations in the glove box. They go all the way back to 1968, I believe. I don't know if everyone's there, but there's a lot of them there. Solid car, it's got a little patina ding here. But look, I mean, there's surface rust down here, but it's, it's solid, it's not. That's just from sitting. It was on a dirt part, which I guess is better than grass. The underside's solid, the floors are solid. I'll go get the keys, I'll lift it up in the air. I'll show you the underside, I'll show you the floors. And we'll continue with the video from there. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are up in the air. As you can see, just a little bit of surface rust underneath the car. There's the inner frame support. Now there's this surface rust all over stuff. Um, but the inside underneath looks good. Of course, definitely going to have to drop the tank, put a new tank in. There's the other inner fender. Um, the exhaust parts are rotted out. There's a little tiny bit of rust right here. That's like actually the worst on the whole car that I've seen. Um, I'm believing it's the original rear bumper. Four nine inch three O pause the traction rear end or traction lock or whatever Ford called it, but it is a posi unit. You know, the shocks have been sitting forever. So surface rust, I'm sure they're gonna all start not working as soon as you go up and down a few times. So there's a hole, but look at how solid it really is under here. We'll move our way up. The floors are nice and solid, just surface rust on them. Uh, you know, inside of all that is good up under here torque boxes i don't know if that's what they're called or not but i believe so um they're all nice we'll go over to the driver's side show you the floors um, as we go it's all pretty good still a lot of spiders i did take this straight it was like we found it really close to our shop here or it was called to us it was only like five minutes away and we um I took it straight to my detailer and we on the trailer and he tried to blow off as many of the cobwebs and spider webs and stuff as much as he could just to show you that this is just surface rust I mean you're gonna want to do something with it but you can see it's not Eight and out the battery box is still good up there the battery he did have no battery in it which helped save the battery box but we're trying to figure out a new Ford filter old belts um, you know a lot of you can tell age and been sitting but it's really I think for sitting outside since 93 that's 27 years Granted, it was under car covers, but this is a pretty dang solid car. Um, and like that, it's a four-speed and a 390 and traction lock, posi, whatever you want to call the rear end. Um, yeah, just a really good car. Bottoms of the doors are good. Um, just something... I like coming across. You don't see these all the day, all the time. Uh, factory disc brakes up front too. I don't know if that was standard on a Fairlane in 68. Now uh, you can see they haven't really been used in forever. We did step on the brakes uh, once. We were unloading it off the trailer. We winched it on the trailer. We pushed it. It was nice and free rolling, which was good. Um, Kind of other cool thing we got, what are these? Uh, these might be the original hubcaps to the car. 
and be a little bit of beauty rings, which are cool. I do have five original Ford 14 inch steel wheels. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Those two are off another car. Um, big old school snow tires on two of them. And then you also check out these. I don't know how old these are. AP Mag. Something out of California. They were purchased at Rainier Avenue somewhere in Seattle. Um, and these are unused. These boxes are pretty old. Like new Magnum 500s. 14.7. Say right there, made in the USA, Unistyle. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm trying to get the light on it. 14.7 uh, Ford bolt pattern, which that's kind of cool. They were in his garage. He bought them for the car. He never put them on. But I don't know how old these old school style mags are but they're older like i said you know still got cobwebs and surface rust some people call it scale or shale or whatever but you know the wheel lip moldings you know all that stuff is just nice on the car i believe we'll have to get exhaust on it we have no idea what we're really going to do with it yet um, we're going to sign and see, first of all, like I said, if the motor turns over, let me undo the locks quick and we will lower it and open the trunk. Down she goes. You know, the trim is all fairly, I mean, it's got some dings in it, but you look down the sides of it, this thing is actually pretty straight, I think, really, for being 68. I almost think, like I said, I think based off the, there's a little bit of difference. I almost think the door and that front fender were painted at some point the patina on them besides the little stuff up there just the the quality of the paint is not as smooth it's not as this is a lot smoother paint this has a little bit of grit and stuff in it so i think that those two were redone at some point um you know it's got a couple little boo-boos in the back you know typical things that are Cool like that. I gotta get the right key though. Trunk is still spring loaded. Here's under the trunk lid, which is pretty cool. There's a little bit of surface rust there. I mean, it's a little deeper, but nothing terrible. You know, looks like an old gasket around here. Trunk mat. Look at the inner fenders don't look like it's ever been there was a little mouse nest in it you can kind of see where they but it doesn't smell mousy in here it was nice we found one a little nest but there's the other inner fender over there look fifth mag spare tire the back panels all pretty nice on the inside and it's just a really I think I think a cool car. I like finding cars like this. I also like finding ones that are a little less common. Uh, it's very similar to I walk out here and uh, we found this 67 Mustang Fastback that was purchased from the original owner. I uh, worked at Ford in San Jose. I did a video on that earlier. And I also did a video on this car, which is a 68, uh, pretty uncommon Camaro factory 
L30, which is a high horse 327 factory four speed um, car that we found sitting in a garage. C owner contacted us. It had been broken down since the early 2000s and we did a restoration on that. Show you underneath. Like I did before the 12 bolt factory date correct, three posi rear end, factory multi-leaf rear leaf spring, factory rear brake proportioning valve. So this car took us a year and a half to kind of restore um, and get all done and gone through, rebuilt the engine tranny, rear end, interior paint. We just don't know, you know, the 68 Fairlane probably is not worth as much as a 68 Camaro. They're just not as popular. They're bigger cars. But I ordered the Marty report and I'm gonna be interested to see what the breakdown on this car is. Like I said, the only number I could find just doing some research last night is they made 3,600, 3,800 or so, somewhere in that ballpark within a couple hundred. Um, fastbacks with bucket seats. Um, Fairlane 500 fastbacks. That doesn't include four speeds. That doesn't include 390s. I searched also on the internet and at the current time when I'm filming this, I have not been able to find a 390 four speed car. I found one 390 fastback, sorry, one 390 automatic for sale but I have not found a 390 four-speed car. So, and that automatic had a bench seat, not bucket seats. So there's my video walk around and I will shoot some more videos when we see if we get the motor working and whatever. I gotta pull the valve covers and pull the spark plugs next. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.